Aha. Aha. Uh huh. Wait, no, it's actually not enough. No, <laughs> wait, who wins? Draw. <laughs> okay. Yo, what's up, guys? Today, playing some RTA Wings on the account of Hex. I did showcase this team already on stream, but the whole audio thought got messed up. So, gotta redo that again because I definitely wanted to showcase this team. Um, this guy has a bunch of LDs, but all of the LDs actually do really work for RTA, which is the interesting part. But the team that we're playing is actually a Heigang base with a Layla. And you probably know that team, right? However, you can make that a lot better if you would also go Heigang Layla, and then you add in a Neftis, and then you add in El Noah, and then you can add in Amber. And then you also have flex picks such as an Alexandra, an Eleonora, a Dion Lang, a Pontus. Shun if it's needed. It's not really that great, but yeah, there's a lot of like flex picks options in here. Uh, rune quality on this account isn't like super crazy. It's not having like 180 sets or 170 sets. It's it's mainly like 160 ish that we're working around with. So isn't too crazy. Still managed to get P3 on this one. So it's definitely a very interesting team. It's one of those teams. If it does work, it looks like the most OP thing alive. Like no way to counter it. If it doesn't work, it looks like, okay, what is it supposed to do? So there is a few ways how it's very easy to counter this. And that is mainly just outspeeding it, sniping things, resetting, cooldowns. Those kind of ways you actually do clear it. But anything turn two related, you're not going to win. That's just the main thing of this whole thing. Turn two, you're not going to win. I have uh, seen like Abelio, Veramos, uh, Juno, and then Raccoonie or something you lose you legitimately lose you're not gonna take turns it's just too much stuff going on for that actually to win so let's see how that was will go uh he does show quite some out speeds already plus the tian lang is not that great for this thing fader is definitely not great for that as well so i'm definitely looking at a few issues right here it kind of depends what comes in this slot though if it's nothing too crazy with a passive or immunity, I could go in with a Sonya. Otherwise, I probably have to start looking at something else. But let's see. I could also draft like an Alexander because in the end, he doesn't really show that much healing potential. Oh, Chandra, I think I'll just... Hmm, I think I'll just go in Sonya. I would say that uh, Light Pony in this position wouldn't be too bad as well. But we're just going to go for this and just see how it goes. He will have the first turn. It just kind of depends if he bans Heigang. The thing is, if he does ban Heigang, he still has to strip pretty much everything. And then I could be working from there. It might be somewhat interesting to go resistance lead. Okay, he does go for Layla, which is really weird of a ban right now. Because he doesn't really have too many clans. Like, it was guaranteed I was banning this. Well, maybe he was thinking I was going to ban this. But in this position, the Tia Lang is a lot worse. We're closing in on the 10th anniversary of Summoner's War. With the 10th anniversary, we can expect some good packs. But let me tell you that you don't have to pay the full price for those packs with the Huawei App Gallery. With the Huawei App Gallery, there's all kinds of coupons and discounts that you can get your packs cheaper. How does it work? First of all, you have to install the Huawei App Gallery. Link is in the description. Afterwards, you have to download the HMS Square. There you will create your account. After that, you will select your region. I would recommend to select Germany if you're paying with Euros. Switzerland if you're not paying with Euros. After that, you will have to search for the game within the Huawei App Gallery. And you would also have to install it from here. Once it is installed, you can also open the game from here. And then the purchase will go through the Huawei App Gallery. If we scroll a little bit down, we can click on the campaigns that are currently running. From here, we can see all kinds of discounts that are currently working. All for one are a bunch of coupons that you can claim for your first purchases. Offer 2 is a cashback mechanic where you get Huawei points the moment that you purchase something. Keep in mind the dates that are here on screen in which you can get those discounts and you will get them on your first three purchases on that day. Afterwards, you have the big one, which is Offer 3, in which you collect diamonds and you can trade in those diamonds for coupons and those coupons you can use on your next purchase. And with this, you can get pretty big discounts. At the bottom, they also have a link to the Discord, which I would highly recommend joining. If you have any questions or want to check the campaigns or want to join their giveaways, you can all do that in their Discord. If you were to purchase anything through the Huawei App Gallery, it would look something like this. We go normally in Summoners War, we click on the buying anything. In here, we can select the method that we would like to pay. If you have any coupons from previous purchases, you can also use those over here. You can also select to pay by Huawei points in this position. Once we click on pay, we would have to fill in our PIN, which is currently blacked out on the screen. Afterward, you see that the payment has been completed. Don't right away click on the OK button. First of all, you want to scroll down and you want to see if there's any Huawei points to claim. And those will be shown over here as well. Once you claim those, you can hit the OK button. And that's how you successfully purchase anything in the Huawei App Gallery.
So once again, I want to thank the Huawei App Gallery for sponsoring this video. And let's continue with the video. Sure, he still has the potential to strip on the Tian Lang, but after the, the Tian Lang strip, I will probably move. So it's just kind of the question, is that Ganymede going to be super fast with the Swift Vanessa kind of style? Yep, it is. Okay. So that thing also does move afterwards. So after this strip, ooh, did not land. That's actually pretty bad because if he landed the skill right there, I would have actually been able to um, boost up higher because now it was a boost without a cleanse and a boost without a cleanse is a little bit worse. But let's see if he's going to go for any protection kind of style. Uh, not really too much as of yet. We do get some despairs over there. We do get a bunch of hits in that one. We do get some Amber shenanigans going in. We can boost up Amber again. And that's kind of the part of the team as well because Amber just straight up goes twice with this. And yeah, you don't really... Amber plus like these two together, it's stupid. Like you were resetting that for what reason? Like armor breaks? I don't give a shit about armor breaks. This thing is your damage, bro. Okay, we're not fully done yet. If he starts stunning over here, I could still be in some trouble. But I think we're kind of in a fine position over here. This would die to the dot. You can do some damage over there. It doesn't really land stuff. And then, yeah, simple clear. So that's the main thing. Like, you actually want to snipe things or reset cool times on things that do matter. Like, an FTs, sure, you could have survived that. Amber, you don't. Uh, this thing, I think you should have probably reset this thing because Amber then only can go for one rotation. Definitely a very strong team. Drafting wise, it's super easy. You literally just mindlessly. I think everyone wants to draft like this way, just mindlessly spamming the same three, four units and then just one counter pick. Okay, I like this already. Give me everything. Give me Leo's uh, Rectals. I don't like too much because it would um, just boost up his attack bar by a bit. I do have some crit rate on some of those. So. Ragdolls I don't like too much. Okay, we're going in for Ragdolls and again against. Let's see if he goes full passive. These kind of guys do tend to go full passive. Okay, uh, that's a little bit more of an annoying passive, I would say. But I think I can deal with that as well. I think I'm still going to go in for this. I kind of want to have like another heal blocker as well. The big issue is that this thing would cleanse his own heal block. Well, we have the cleanse block from this thing as well. So he probably has to ban that. Let's see how this works. Full passive team. Okay, he removes that. That definitely does make a lot of sense. Uh, biggest issue right now is that I'm going to crit. If I wouldn't uh, crit and that wouldn't be like that much of an issue, it would have been a lot better. But let's actually see. Plus the Juno will full heal the Julian because Juno does cleanse its... Or the Julian does cleanse itself, which is a little bit worse. So, uh, Okay, okay. Well, if he goes S2 right now, I will just take a lot of attack bar, which I actually prefer him to do, but probably still goes S1. Will be the right play. Yep, S1 is the right play. Let's see what we can do. Okay, Julian moves over there. It's kind of bad, but not too bad, I guess. Can we get some stunts? No, we're not getting any stunts whatsoever. And he does get an additional turn. Okay, this is going really bad. This is actually going really, really bad. Okay, we can boost that up. We can still do this. Big issue is that we're not going to kill the Julian, though. Yeah, and we're going to kill myself on that. <laughs> yikes. Yikes, 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 yikes. Okay, should we just go for the kill over here? I think we have to... No, I think there's enough debuffs. I think that should be fine if we just silence it. Let's hope it is. Can you stop getting additional turns, bruh? Bruh. I don't like it when you do that. Okay, I think I just want to tumble in the damage into you. Because then you would drain a lot of the HP from the other guy. And then we actually clear. Okay. <laughs> Still managing to win. Still managing to win. So, yeah. That's the thing where there's just so much stuff going on. Especially with the Sonya in there. There's some options where you don't really need the Sonya. But... I do kind of like the Sonya for also the heal block. So you have two options for heal blocking. Layla is just going to be annoying. Everything is just annoying. You don't, like, simply said, you don't want to turn two this. If you turn two against this, you're probably going to die. Okay, that's a semi-turn one, semi-turn two-ish. So let's see what he actually goes with that. If he goes this for full turn two, it's dead. Otherwise, I probably have to go towards Asher. Okay, I do have to go towards Asher in this position. If they go turn one, they snipe things, like I said, then I'm kind of dead. So uh, let's go for this and let's add in the Asher. The issue is that if he bans out the Asher, I'm pretty much dead already. But we're just going to see if he adds in another speedy unit with this. 
and that we could maybe work around with it. Okay, Juno, I don't care about Juno. Well, if Layla has gone, I kind of do care about Juno, but I expected him to ban out the Asher. In this position, because my units are somewhat on the slow side, if this thing is on Swift, I would still probably be dead. So that's kind of the issue on that one as well, but let's see um, how that would work out. Is he fast? No, he's not fast. Okay, that's very good for me. So we do land on everything. We get the Layla in. Layla gets a lot of turns by doing that. We get the cleanse block in on that thing. That's great. Layla once again gets a lot of turns. We give some attack bar on that. That's fine for now. Uh, we can do that. Yep. Uh, just don't strip and stun. That would be nice. Okay. We go for an S2. S2 gives a lot of uh, stuff to Layla again. So then we can do that skill once again. Then we can boost up. I would say boost up self. And with the boost of self, we get another round of skill 2 in. Another round of skill 2 means we get another round of Layla in. <laughs> Is this guy having fun yet? If he procs out right now, I'm going to cry, though. Okay, no cap. But yeah, look at how much Layla is doing with this, man. It's literally insane. Like, he can't do shit. Like, like I was saying, you, you can't turn to this. You do not want to turn to this. Moment that you turn to this, you're just going to get, like, a bad day. If you get a lot of resists on the immunities you can maybe get away with stuff but as long as you don't do that and i get my strips in you're just absolutely fucked but the moment that someone goes for let's say a sonia snipe something out uh, a segment reset something yeah then you're looking at it like there's two strippers if you ban one strip reset the other strip match is over like i can't do shit also josephine i think josephine is pretty much a nasty unit against this as well because it does prevent me from doing a lot of stuff on stunts. So I do have to get some other rotations in. But it's still kind of doable. -ish. Let's see if he goes for two passive units. Veramos, Juno. Also, Veramos, I don't give a shit about Veramos. Veramos is totally fine as well. I kind of have to stun it. That's the only thing. So in this case, I do expect you to be swift. So I'm probably going to be removing you rather than anything else. Um, then the question is, what do I want to do for a late pick? You could go something along the lines of this. If I go this, he probably will ban it. That's kind of my bet on it. Yeah, I think I'll go for that. And then him thinking that he has to ban this. Or that I'm banning this while I'm actually banning that. So you're banning this thing. Mind games on this one. Uh, if this thing is in against that thing, I will lose 100%. But let's just see. Okay, I huh, predicted that ban very well. Let's see how that works out. Josephine is going to be annoying though. But since I have despair chances on the Vermos, I think I can get away with it. But let's actually see if that works out. So we have that one moving first. Full will, of course. I just want to get a very early despair stun on that Vermos. Okay, I got despair stun on Juno. Well, since he can't really S2 right now, because S2 would just do nothing, I'm still kind of okay with it. So let's see how much we can do. Okay, no despair stunts on that whatsoever. No despair stunts on that one. Can we get despair stunts? Okay, at least we have the cleanse block. Uh, no despair stunts. Let's just boost self again. Please, can I get some despair stunts on that Veramos? I need despair stunts on the Veramos. I need despair stunts on the Veramos. I get a shit ton of turns though. But no despair stunts on the Veramos. <laughs> <laughs> this person, yeah, this person on the barrels. Fuck, he procs out. That is the best timing to proc out. And he stuns everything. Okay, yeah, then if the Veramos instantly procs out, then yeah, then match is over. Then, then I do care about Veramos taking additional turns. So I would say that he was rather lucky on that. Well, match isn't fully over yet. Well, it kind of is, but let's just see. Can we get more despair stunts? Nope. We need more despair stunts. Okay, we have to disperse on this, otherwise match over. Yep, match is over. Okay, not fully yet. Not fully yet. Still needing despair stuns, though. <laughs> this is the least amount of despair stuns I've ever seen from this unit ever. Okay, that's where we got a despair stun. Skill 2, rotations. Good stuff. Uh, let's once again boost on self. Can we also despair stun Josephine because Josephine's skill 2 or skill 1 will still land, which isn't too great for us. We have to get cleanse block on left. Uh, did not get cleanse block on left. That's not too great. I think we have to try to kill this first. 
Okay, he did land the clans block. Good. He does have a chance to land stuff right now. So even with his Varamos going absolutely mental, we still have a good chance of winning. I think in this position, I'd rather go for skill one. It's a little bit higher damage. Oh, I wanted to get the higher damage in without stunning anything. And we did get a stun over there. And he did get a Vaya over there. Which is not great for both things. Because I have to get rid of this shield before I can actually clear him. Which isn't great for me. Hopefully this can break shield. Okay, that breaks shield. You don't have skills. Okay, that's fine. You can stun. Doesn't really land too much of stuns. That's good for now. Does get a counter. Okay. That's great. If we just rotate to you right now. Do we have skills back? Oh, wait. You get skills after one turn, of course. I have an FTs myself. I should know. <laughs> but I don't have a Eleanor, so I'm not too used to that. But as you can see, like, turn twoing, it's just absolutely mental, man. Like, even that Varamos getting full cycles in many times, getting AoE stuns in, getting everything in. Juno being on the field. Josephine being on the field. You're just like, no, man, I'm cycling so many turns. It's just not going to work. You're just not going to have a great day. And imagine this account having, like, these pair sets that are like 180. Sure, they're pretty tanky and stuff. Additional damage artifacts could be a little bit better. Okay, this is the point where it gets difficult for me. So the moment that they go Sekhmet, they, let's say they ban out Lele, they reset Heigang, and they have will units, or they put in like immunity units, I'm 100% dead. There's not much, too much I can do. You drop in a Volantis and that kind of stuff for extra strips. It's also an extra T-Boss. So Volantis does kind of help in there. It does also have a TL Lang in there, so those kind of things do help. Ooh, that's a second reset there. I think I'm gonna play around with the Asher in this position. I think that's probably my only way to go for. Do I actually want to go this thing in this position? Da, da, da. Yeah, I think I'll still go for it. Maybe I'll just ban out this thing. By the looks of it. Kind of depends if he goes for another... Um, okay, he goes for another strip unit. Oh, that's actually pretty dangerous. Do I want to... He has have an, another um, hit on that. Okay, so this is pretty much the way to counter this, yes. So if you just go AWCC, uh, that kind of stuff, it definitely can work. Uh, maybe the Asher is fast enough because I have a higher base. He does have a higher lead. Not too sure how fast people uh, are in this bracket. Okay, I am fast enough. That's good. I am not in tune. <laughs> so yeah, that's your next issue. You could actually miss this. This thing is also not really in tune, it seems. There's some death on that. Oh, that's a waste, I guess. So yay, we can go for skills. Oh, we did miss that one, which isn't too great. But wait, can skill... No, it's just skill 2 that strips, right? Yeah, okay, we just go for this. Okay, you can go for reset right now on that thing. Uh, not as of yet. So I think if I boost self right now, give this, this thing would have skills back again as well. So yeah, I was just too slow. But you can also see that the Asher, this Asher is like 210. I wasn't tuned to an Asher of 210, which is kind of an issue as well. So yeah, if this thing, if this account had like 180 sets of despair, man, you would be G2, G3 so easily. The only RNG that you actually get is like, who do you play against? And do they know how to properly counter this? Because moment that they actually properly go turn one, reset things, snipe things out, Sonya kind of stuff, you kind of tend to get fucked. Let's see how this works out. This thing can potentially do annoying stuff, but ooh, that is not a bad draft at all. Let's see what we want to do against that. There are a few options. I could go for you to be annoying. That is definitely an option. I could go for you because that would give me a lot of turns as well. But I would kind of die to dots, which isn't too great. Mm -mm -mm. What is my best option? I think that this is actually the best option and I'm going to get rid of this thing. Let's see if he also does ban out that. He does have to ban out the Hey Gang. That would be his best ban. He could mess up turn order right now. That is an option he can do. But I would say that the Hey Gang ban for him in this position is probably better. So... As for anyone, like, if you see a Heigang first pick, you probably want to go into first turn kind of stuff. Because otherwise, you're just gonna have a bad day. Okay, I'm gonna have a bad day on this one, I guess. Okay, interesting choice. Wait, I hope I don't really push up that thing. Ah, uh, no, that thing is going to move and put immunity. So I'm kind of screwed either how on this whole thing because he puts up that. Yep, okay. So yeah, I'm kind of screwed with that. 
I would say that I'm more screwed by the ragdoll in this position than anything. Like anything else didn't really do too much. It was just mainly the ragdoll. But let's see if we can maybe kind of come back from this. Would be difficult, I guess, because the two of those are stunned. And because the two of them being stunned, I can't really do too much anytime soon. Don't get stunned again. Okay, Gucci. Um, can't really do any skills. Neftis is proccing some useless procs, which doesn't really help. Did get the armor break. He does get a proc. He can go for an S2. Let's go S2 over there. Uh, that's okay-ish, I guess. That is kind of okay-ish. Uh, I think I have to boost you. And hopefully land glancing on everyone. Okay, this pair stun, that's great. Hopefully you don't kill. Okay, doesn't kill. Give me a chance to go for this skill. Okay, I see potential to still win. Because we have a lot of rotations coming in pretty soon right now. Good damage on that. That thing will move, so probably kills this. You could kill that, I guess. Let's see. Okay, that one will die to a skill 2 right now. Nice, lots of stuff going in. I kind of want to kill you first. Hopefully. I don't have too much damage in this position right now. So it's just a bit of damage. Oh, that was resistant. Never didn't give bar to this thing. It doesn't really help. But if we hit it right now, it is still fine. Let's hope that this thing doesn't have skill 3 anytime soon. If it procs right now, would it have skill 3? Okay, it didn't proc. That's good. Uh-oh. I'm not liking that skill. Yikes. Okay, at least we can kill the thing on the right. That's good. Hopefully put glancing. Not great. Armor break, not great. Has skill 2. Also not great. Despair stuns, not great. Many things, not great. Also glancing it, not great. <laughs> Yikes. No pushback, not great. Don't stun it. He did stun it. Why did you have to stun it? Push back finally, please. Okay, stun it himself. Okay, nice. That was rather close. It was more screwed up by the ragdoll and the... Res no, mainly the ragdoll, because the ragdoll made the other unit move at the right moment, and they didn't have a silence on. If you did get a silence on the thing on the right, the Shizuka, then it would have still been, like, perfectly fine. I do kind of want to get one match where we just get owned by a first turner, and then I'll call it a day. But so far, we're having fun, right? We're just clapping everyone. Let's see if there's someone actually going heavy first turn. Okay, Cigar. Cigar is definitely great into this as well, because you do have the chance of probably... Yep, yeah, th this one is definitely going to counter me. Let's see if we can counter the counter, though, but... This definitely does kind of counter me with, like, all of those resets and annoying shit in those. Let's see what his other picks are going to be. So, yeah, yeah, this, this guy is definitely looking at, like, okay, I'm heavily countering your stuff. I would say that uh, Leo in this position is not too bad. I'm actually going to deviate from the draft a little bit. If I were to go, like, a um, Amber plus this thing right now, I would absolutely get clapped on. I could maybe go for you as well. Would I actually think that's better than Alexandra? I'm not sure. I think with Alexandra, he might be able to kill himself, which is kind of funny as well. If there's any cleavers, you just go this plus this, and they just kill themselves while you're cleaving them. It's just... <laughs> it's really a nasty combination as well. Plus, you could even... If, they, if there's something to nem trap, you can nem trap on the Pontus. Like, this account has a lot of LDs, but all of these LDs kind of work for this kind of stuff. Oh, in this position, if he bans this, I kind of have to ban that. And I don't really think he would ban out this, so, okay. Let's see what he does. Do we go defense? The thing is, you can go defense lead where you maybe can trap a Sonya, but it's somewhat hard as well. I don't have too much defense on these units. But that's an interesting thing about Layla as well. Where if you had uh, these units on, like, plus... 900 to a thousand it probably would be enough to trap these things as well but let's actually just give it a try if we go defensively because i'm gonna get outsped anyways i will be quite a bit slower but if it does happen to work it will actually make things pretty chill and it's just kind of the question if my alexandra can start getting some skills off if alexandra gets some skills off where i can lower the hp of all of the units a little bit then they might die to reflect of alexandra so okay goes for layla first Oh, are you going to go for kill? Yeah, you have to go for kill. I'll... Wait, doesn't go for kill on Layla? Okay, interesting choice. Interesting choice. Did get the silence, did get a stun. Okay, and we're still winning this. No, wait, we're not winning this. What? 
Why are you ignoring this thing? This thing OP, man. This thing is going to wreck your ass right now. Wait, why would you not do... Okay, he's giving me free chances to good, just go for this. Because if he did defend, I couldn't have done this. And now this is just going to do so much damage already. Plus it's going to give uh, Layla bar. So those things just definitely help out. That was a little bit of a risk, but since it's slow, I think it's kind of fine. He definitely has to be tumbling damage into this, because the longer he waits with doing damage on Alexandra, the, the, the more damage I can do with my Alexandra. Oh, that's not great for me. Good stun, though. Good stun. Okay, goes for the defense. I'm not provoked on anyone, so that's still kind of fine. Uh, in this position, can't really go for an S2. Should I go shields? Yeah, I'll just go shields, because if he strips the shield, he cleanses me, so that's also not great for him. And then I get a little bit of bar on that sense. Uh, I'm just nastying him on stunts. But yeah, if you play this properly, I would say he didn't really play this too properly. And I got a little bit lucky with stunts and that kind of stuff. So then it's definitely uh, a way to clear this is like these kind of comms with like snipes and that kind of stuff. And also not everyone has like a backup Alexandra or Eleanor or other annoying shit. So that's... That's helping me out a little bit as well. I'm not sure if this is maybe int. Because I'm not sure if I get enough bar. Okay, fuck, I get, don't get enough bar. That could be pretty int. Okay, does he reset? No, he's still... What? Why are you not hitting this, man? He really doesn't want to win. He doesn't understand Alexandra, I guess. <laughs> Alexandra's pretty underrated. For those contains all of the guys that don't you need. Any, see you there. If you just drop in like a random Alexandra, you can fuck up people because right now... Even if he were to kill those two units, he starts hitting on this, he would just kill himself. Like, straight up on reflex, he would just kill himself. Is he once again go... Okay, he's gonna go for that right now. It's totally fine. Like, any damage do, I'm pretty sure that I have enough um, HP already that if you, like, close to kill this, you already kill yourself right now. Let's see if he gets to that point. Let's see. Armor breaks. Does get armor breaks. I am provoked, though, which isn't too great, but... Let's just see if it would do enough damage where he would actually kill his own units. I do think so. Maybe I'm expecting too much of Alexandra. But... Uh-huh. 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 Wait, no, it's actually not enough. No! Wait, who wins? Draw. <laughs> okay, I expected too much of Alexandra right there. <laughs> That's actually, an, I didn't even know you get draws like that. I thought there was still a winner on that. Well, that's a perfect way to finish this video. Absolutely hope you enjoyed this video. For me, it was just a blast to make this one. It's such a fun account. There's so many things going on. I definitely would say if there's a little bit better artifacts for additional damage artifacts, they're not too bad, but they could still definitely be quite a bit better. But those are actually, no, those are not bad at all, actually. But... No, okay. Artifacts are actually kind of on point. That's the whole reason this team works. If there were no artifacts, it wouldn't work at all. A bit faster units on those kind of things would be really, really insane. So, so thanks once again to Hex for letting me play on his account. And hope you enjoyed this video. And see you as always in the next one. Thanks for watching. If you would like to see more guides, join the Discord and check out the content tab, which has the dungeon guide archive and the video guide archive.